Black Magic Sorcerer here with another video, and today we are going to discuss the Emperor. Sam? Great. So, <clears throat> what can we say about the Emperor now? The first impression I get from the Emperor whenever I pull the Emperor card or see it in one of my spreads is the most obvious, which refers to a authority figure. The energy of a very calm and very, uh, what's the word, um, collected, someone who knows what they're doing, someone who also demands things, wants things a certain way, emperor, someone who rules with an iron fist. Um, the picture is self-explanatory, it's basically a king on a throne, you know, the emperor, he's an emperor, self-explanatory. But there's a lot more to it uh, than people realize. So this card is associated with Mars, <clears throat> as far as planets go, Mars, Aries for the uh, astrological sign, and fire for the element. Authority, government, paternity, active yang force. This card actually could almost take the place of the devil. Uh, there is a there is a almost Luciferian or high demonic um, energy to this card. I think he is sitting in a throne that uh, almost looks like it's engulfed in fire or flame, but it isn't. It's just got an orange background, but. Um, the two animal heads on the chair stand out, the horned animals. And, you know, he's wearing kind of like a chainmail armor. He holds in one hand what looks to be like a wand or maybe like a scepter that a ruler would use. And in the other hand, it looks as though he has a glowing orb or some sort of ball of energy in his hand. Maybe a crystal ball or maybe it's a big chunk of gold. I don't know. I didn't look that far into it. Uh, I just know that whenever I see the Emperor, that I'm going to see him as uh, someone coming up in the Quarant's life who is either over-authoritative <clears throat> or an authority figure that perhaps is going to come into your life. So really, the, the key word is authority authority and Mars is very destructive. So there's the energy of war that goes with this, with fire, and especially Aries. Uh, I can relate to that because my birthday is April 3rd. So <clears throat> an active Yang, well, if you're looking at a yin and yang symbol, there's a black part and a white part and they're both one, but they are separate. And that active Yang being the dark part, I think is Yang, not yin. I'm not an expert on the, that exact subject, but I can tell you when it comes to the energy of the emperor, when you see it in a reading, it really does refer to uh, a person in a position of authority. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about the emperor. I have not done a sketch yet of him. Um, I think I'm going to work on one right now or get somewhat of an idea of how I wanna do him I want to totally interpret him in a little bit more uh, demonic way. So anyway, dark blessings, my friends. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.